Hey! Hi. I'm, I'm Carl. This is Tom here. We're going to learn how to rearrange Ohm's Law. Rearranging Ohm's Law, that's what we're going to do. Ohm's Law is this, V equals IR. And if you know anything about Ohm's Law, you know this is the voltage, this is the current, and this is the resistance. So what we're going to do is the way that all of these problems work is they give you two and they make you find the third one. So the easy one to do without any rearranging is they tell you what the current is, they tell you what the resistance is. Current is this, resistance is this, find the voltage. So that's easy because voltage is already here. So what you don't know is on the left side, what you do know is on the right side. And so you just, you just put in the stuff you do know and then out pops what you don't know. So that's easy. Right, so it's just a matter of multiplying the two together. Right, so V equals I times R. So then you I, whatever that is, R, that's easy. But awesome. what if, what if I said, what if I stop you on the street, you're walking to school or whatever, mm -hmm. and I say, hey, the voltage is this, and the resistance is this. Find the current. Not so fast. How do you do it, right? right. So let me show you. Are you ready? I think okay. so. So you start with V equals I R. And I'm like, hey, I want to get what I don't know on the one side and what I do know on the other side. So I know that I is already there, and I want I to be by itself. So I want I to be by itself. What I have to do is I got to get R out of there. R is out of there. We don't, do we want R there? No. We do not want R there. Right. So tell, tell R, get out of there. Uh, go. Uh, it's, it's not going to do it by itself. It needs our help, right? right? Right. Okay, so the way we do it is if we want to get R out of there, what we do is we divide both sides by R. Okay. Because you know what? Because anything divided by itself is... Uh, one. 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 Yes, right. yes. So this is V over R, which is fine. It's V over R. Then we have I times R over R. What? This is actually I times R over R, right? So this is kind of the same thing as saying um, equals I times R over R, like that. So we have V over R is equal to I times that. But R over R is equal to? One. One. Okay. So get that out of there because I times one is equal to? Uh, I. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have Perfect. V over R equals I. We done? Yeah. Oh, almost. Uh, the only th other thing is that we'd rather switch them, right? So that I is actually on the left-hand side just because right. that's proper form. Well, I don't know if it's proper form. It's what I like to do. I like to put the stuff you don't know on the one side, on the left side, and what you do know on the right side because with V, it's already done for you. Right. So we just switch them around. We're allowed to do that. Because that's equal to that, and that means that's equal to that. Perfect. So we rearrange it. I equals V over R. And that is called solving, solving for I, or solving for current. That's how it's done. Perfect. You want to try voltage, or what? Voltage is done. You want to try resistance? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're going to have to erase the board. So what we'll do is we'll count to three. We'll snap our fingers, and then when we do that, we will. We'll. What do you want to do when we? Should we disappear? Let's disappear. Sure. We'll snap our fingers, and we'll disappear, and this board will be erased. Ready? Perfect. One, two, three. Oh, wait, timing's bad. Ready? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Well, that's easy. Okay, so now we're doing. We just did current. Mm -hmm. We rearranged Ohm's law so that. So that I was on one side. So if you need to know what current is and you know these two, we can do that. We did that already. So now we're going to do the R. We're going to get R into the one side. So that if somebody stops you in the street and says, hey, the voltage is this, the current is this, find a resistance. Hmm. OK. So solving for R. All right. That's what we're going to do. Sounds good. OK. So go ahead. OK. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do you got? Starting with the typical thing. Yeah, that's called this just Ohm's law, and it's right. in the most uh, normal form. That's what you usually see. Okay, so we know this, and we know this. We still don't know R. Um, so I guess what we're going to do is divide both of them by the current. The that's I. it. Yeah. Because you want R by itself, so you're going to tell the current, get out of there. Right. I basically right. want to cancel out these two I's. Yeah. Because anything and divided by itself is. One. You got it. Okay, so so if we uh, sort of rearrange this here, mm -hmm. to better define what's going on, we've got 
i divided by i times r. Yeah, very cool. I divided by i is because that's 1, and that's r. And so 1 times, one times r. r is? R. So? Perfect. Say bye-bye. Say it. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. And then uh, I guess all that's left to do is to switch them to the right side. All right. And then we I mean the left. Oh, oh, the left side. R can go on the left side. V over I on the right side. And that's called solving for R. It's that simple. Well, I wouldn't resist it. <laughs> Give it a that's try. A point. Ready? Right. Let's, let's disappear. Let's get out of here. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs>